Ever get stuck in those like endless phone menus? You know, when you just want to talk to a human? Oh, the worst. Right. But what if the voice on the other end, what if you couldn't even tell if it was a person or AI? I've had that happen, or at least I thought it did. Gave me chills. That's exactly what today's deep dive is all about. Air.ai. They're pushing the limits of AI phone calls. And we're talking full-on conversations, not just those basic chatbot things. Yeah, and the scale they're talking about, it's uh, ambitious, is putting it mildly. Like, mm. 100,000 virtual agents. Ambitious. 100,000. That's nuts, right? It's like suddenly having a city's worth of call center workers just appear. But are they really up to the task? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? I mean, their own website throws around phrases like thousands of applications concurrently and virtually indistinguishable from human. So 24 seven availability, instantly scalable. If this actually works, think about the impact on, well, everything. Customer service would never be the same. Right, imagine like calling your insurance company at 3 a.m. because your basement's flooding and you actually get a helpful response, not just a recording saying to call back Monday. Or think about businesses. Mm. No more hiring for peak seasons, you just spin up some more AI agents. But then there's the flip side. What happens to all those human jobs? Yeah, that's the big one. Air.ai's own materials. They even acknowledge there'll be a significant disruption in the job market. Disruption might be an understatement, to be honest. For sure. But I do think it's important to remember that historically, new tech usually creates new kinds of jobs, too. It's not always a simple one-for-one -one replacement. True. Like, I doubt the folks at Google Images thought they'd be training AI to identify cat pictures someday. Mm. Exactly. And this could be similar. Maybe instead of call centers full of people handling basic inquiries. We'll see. I don't know. Empathy specialists who step in when the AI hits a wall. Whoa, empathy specialists. That's kind of cool. <laughs> but it still feels weird, right? I mean, if this AI is as good as they say, are people even going to know they're not talking to a real person? And ethically speaking, should they know? Do we need some kind of disclaimer at the start of every call? It's a whole can of worms. Absolutely. And you know what really gets me? There's all this talk about how realistic these AI conversations are, but nothing about how W they actually pull it off. It's like their big secret sauce. I know, right? It makes you wonder what they're feeding this thing, what kind of data it's crunching through to sound so human. It's fascinating, but also a little, I don't know, unsettling. Totally. I mean, the tech is mind blowing, but what happens when it's so good we can't tell the difference? Yeah. What does that even mean for us? Yeah. That's the real question here, isn't it? It's not just about job losses or even whether the tech works as advertised. It's about redefining what it means to communicate, to connect. It's Well, I think it's something we all need to start thinking about because yeah. this future, it's closer than we think.